Yes, yes! Another victory for the invincible Lord Bedlam! Excellent work, my brothers and sisters. At long last, the first phase of my master plan is complete. Now, gather the spoils of our conquest so that we may return to our fortress post haste. So you want all these pet supplies stacked in the truck? Yes, stack the pet supplies in the truck. Okay, just double checking because there is a lot of dog food here and I'm just not sure the resale value is worth the back strain, you know? Oh, and do you care about organization? Like, should we sort it by animal or? Just load the boxes! Uh, <clears throat> if you please, my comrade. Right. Sure. <clears throat> God damn it. Hey, Dave, can you help me with this? Oh, sure thing, buddy. Try lifting with your legs. I hear that helps. I meant help me lift the box, dude. Oh, gosh, no. I'm a squad supervisor. I'm supervising. But I believe in you, Stan. You can do it. Thanks. Great work on that box, buddy. Way to go. Thanks. You know, the whole lift with your legs thing actually worked. I mean, you hear it all the time, so I just figured it was bullshit, but it really... Hey, fellas. Doing some late night shopping for Fido, huh? That's cute. What kind of mud is it? Looking at the two of you, I'd guess something like a Yorkie, maybe a teacup poodle. But that's way too much food for a dog that you could carry around in your purse. Oh, he's a super St. Bernard? So yeah, he's huge, massively big, eats a ton, shits are just, you know, gargantuan. Are you a dog person? Let me guess. Frenchie? Corgi? Pitbull. But seriously, step away from the truck and keep your hands off the kibble. This puppy chow heist is over. Oh gosh, oh, this is going to ruin Lord Bedlam's whole plan! I've got to warn him! His plan? What about my plan? Hey, get back here! Thanks for your commitment to the team, buddy. You got this. Yeah, sure thing. Oh, really? Why don't you show me exactly what you've got, pal? Let's see. I do know a few magic tricks. Some are even good. Have you got any cards? No? That's okay. I can work with change, too. Just no dimes. I've got fat fingers, so sometimes I drop those. Hey, what a coincidence! I know a magic trick, too. Oh, really? You know, it's always great to meet a fellow enthusiast. A lot of people make fun of it, but it takes real talent. What trick do you know? It's called Stop Stalling and Surrender Already. Heard of it? Doesn't ring a bell. Well, it just may ring yours in a second. So what's it gonna be, Sunshine? Are you gonna come quietly or not? <sighs> you know I'm not paid to take option A. Well, here goes nothing. Bet you won't see this coming!
Ah, oh, man. Morning, Stan. You're looking chipper as usual. Well, Dave, we can't all have concentrated sunshine flowing through our veins. Why not? The world would be a better place if we did, don't you think? That's a debatable theory. Quiz for you, buddy. What's your assignment for the day? Well, we don't have an operation, and today is Tuesday, so that means I'm guarding a door. Correct! You're assigned to guard the classified level 4 research chamber! <laughs> I'm glad that I could count on an experienced guy like you for something so important. Well, I've guarded it every Tuesday for years, so yeah, I guess you could call me experienced. I'm a regular veteran of standing next to a door. Not just any door, a level four door. And Lord Bedlam has entrusted its protection to our team. It's a big responsibility. By keeping that door safe, you keep Lord Bedlam's plan safe, and Lord Bedlam's plans are going to help all of us. Doesn't it feel great, you know, to be a part of something bigger than yourself? Yeah, it's fantastic. Well, can't do such an important job smelling like this, so I'm gonna go take a shower. See you after assembly. Looking forward to it, buddy. Good morning, my loyal compatriots! Thank you, thank you. I love the enthusiasm. I love you, Lord Bedlam! All right, maybe just a little bit less enthusiasm. Teeny bit. Sorry, Lord Bedlam! Yes, well, <clears throat> moving on. Today is a normal Tuesday, so you should all know your daily assignments. If you've somehow forgotten, consult the laminated schedule you received at the beginning of the quarter. If you lost your schedule, see Sam Leonhardt in HR and she'll make a new one for you. But the printing fee will come out of your paycheck, just so you know. I mean, they're laminated after all. That's not free. We do have some injury updates for you today. First, the good news. It looks like John Kess will walk again after that encounter with Muscle Master. I know we were all pulling for him. The bad news, Mace apparently has no idea who he is following his seventh concussion at the hands of the Shrouded Avenger, so he will not be returning to work. His family has received a fruit basket. 
For some light affair, we do have a birthday today. Congratulations to the Bacon Bruiser, who joined us in June after that unfortunate waffle iron incident forced the breakfast bandit into retirement. There will be some mini cupcakes in the East Break Room to celebrate. Please feel free to treat yourself to one between shifts. And it looks like that wraps up our morning announcements. So let's go out there and work together to make this a great day. And remember... The secret cabals, juntas, and unfairly moderated LARPing message boards that manipulate our society must all be destroyed! They will pay for their crimes in blood! And when my master plan comes to fruition, we shall be the ones to exact the toll! Then we shall rip out the diseased heart of modern society and replace it with a newer, better heart of our own making! A heart that actually enforces the rules about period-appropriate clothing and has no limits on cat's lock usage! So says the invincible Lord Bedlam! Happy Tuesday, everyone. Go get him. How's the door doing, Dave? All's quiet so far, luckily. You're one minute and 35 seconds late, you know. If you were eight minutes and 26 seconds later, I'd have to mark it down. Noted. I'll remember to teleport next time. You can teleport? Yep, but only once a week, and only if I have a breakfast burrito with mango habanero sauce in the morning. Think you could hook me up? You know, for the team. Well, gosh, Stan, that's outside of our team's budget. But if it will keep you on schedule, then by golly, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, buddy. Oh, and it helps if I get the one with the green packaging. You know, the one with the cactus mascot that wears the little sombrero. I'll, <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I've got to go check on the new guy first, though. Uh, what was his name again? Not sure, but he insists on calling himself Sith Player. He's taking this whole henchman thing very seriously. Well, of course he is! It's serious work, Stan! So, be sure to stay vigilant and keep an eye on that door, buddy! You got it, boss. That's me. Super vigilant. But not vigilante vigilant, like villainously. Hey there, buddy. How's your day going? All your tasks on schedule? Hold on. Let me check. Yep. Door's still there. So my sole task of standing beside it and waiting for someone to actually use it remains right on track. Well, that's just swell. You're always on the ball, Stan. Was well, there anything I can do to help you out? Maybe get the facility crew down here to give that door the old spit shine. 
I think the door is shiny enough for now. But do you mind if I ask you something? Non-work related, I mean. Sure thing, buddy. Daily chats with the team are an important part of being a squad supervisor, after all. What's on your mind? So, how are things going with that dating app? Have any hot dates, huh? Oh, I... I don't know, I've, I've chatted with a few girls. On the app, I mean, it usually starts okay, but uh, we always seem to have a difference in our beliefs. What, like religion or something? I think there are specific apps for that if it's a big deal for you. Oh, no, not that. It's just, none of them seem to believe in Lord Bedlam's mission. Shit, dude, you don't tell them you work for Lord Bedlam, do you? Oh, no, no, I would never violate the sanctity of our brotherhood. But it's very important to me, so I give them the bullet points of our code, and then they, uh, unmatch me. Damn, Dave. That's, um, sorry, man. Thanks, buddy. Ugh, I just wish I could date one of the girls here. It'd be so much easier. I've always really liked Jen from Squad 23. Maybe you just need to spruce up your profile a little to get more matches. Widen the net a little, you know? What are you using for your profile picture? The official headshot I got for work. Duh. Really? With the background and everything? Of course! <laughs> it's my best photo! All right, fair enough. How about your description? What do you have there, a corny joke or something? Gosh, no. It's a list of my qualifications, of course, and some key things I'm looking for in a partner. Okay, I see the problem here. Dave, a dating profile isn't a job application. People won't swipe right on someone who makes them think of work. But why not? I love work. I thought you did too. Didn't you say that henchmanning was your passion in your last self-review? Yeah, of course. So passionate about henchmaning. Just, you know, overflowing with passion. But some people want their job to stay out of their personal life. Like they have a box just for their job, and they just want it to stay there. In its own little job box. Not in the family box, or the boyfriend box, just the job box. Know what I mean? You know it's my policy to always be transparent with you, buddy. You lost me at job box. I guess my point is, some people marry other people, and some people marry their job. I think you just married your job, Dave. You think? Hmm, maybe you're right. I might just not have room for both Lord Bedlam's cause and a lady friend in my heart. Maybe not, dude. Maybe not. Next! Hey, knocking to you, pal! Oh, sorry. What's on the menu today, Chef Antonio? We got bologna casserole, bologna hot dish, and bologna surprise. Ah, 
you know, I suddenly seem to have this real bad stomach thing, and as appetizing as all that looks, I think I'll actually pass. Oh yeah, just now, huh? Just now, you happen to not be hungry. Yeah, I know. Bad timing, right? Because this food smells so... So what? What are you trying to say, you ungrateful little shit? You saying Master Chef Giamatti ain't good enough for you? Is that it? No, honest, I just don't feel good. That's it. Right, sure thing, smart guy. Well, I'll tell you what. From now on, I'll have something just for your delicate little stomach. Specially made. How's that sound? Wow, a specially made meal from the legendary Antonio Giamatti? I'd be honored. Oh, I know you would, pal. <laughs> Trust me, you're gonna love it. Looking forward to it. Next! Come on, Oberon, get a move on. I know they got lines in England. Don't you pretend you don't know how it works because you call it a tubery do or something. Come on. 